Welcome back to the AI Equation. And this week we are covering the top questions that people have in regards to ChatGPT. And today we will continue discussing what is ChatGPT. And today we're going to look at the different uh, segments of industry that ChatGPT is having an influence in. This includes things such as uh, major tech companies that are using ChatGPT for various applications, uh, for example, customer support or just powering other conversational interfaces. ChatGPT is also having a role in healthcare as it is assisting professionals with information retrieval, patient communication, and the diagnostic process. GPT can also have a global impact, breaking down language barriers and facilitating communication across borders. There's also the educational impact for ChatGPT, where it can aid students, teachers, and researchers in their quest for knowledge, or as a lesson planner or study aid. And finally, ChatGPT can also be used um, by creative individuals. People such as writers, content creators can harness GPT for a wide range of creative pursuits. People are also asking what the difference is between ChatGPT and Google's Bard. The main difference in their behind the scenes structure is uh, ChatGPT is using the GPT-3 architecture developed by OpenAI, and Google Bard leverages Google's version of the architecture, uh, which emphasizes bi-directional language understanding. There's also slight differences in how these two systems are trained, uh, GPT trained on diverse internet text, Bard being trained on question and answer data sets, uh, focusing on responding to user questions. And in terms of use cases, ChatGPT has widely been adopted for natural language understanding, content generation, and creative writing. Uh, BARD is positioned more for precision-focused tasks, particularly beneficial in scenarios requiring uh, specific and accurate responses. And some people are also asking, what are some sample everyday uses for ChatGPT? Um, and like we mentioned earlier, in education, uh, GPT can be used as a, a homework assistant, or language learning to help you um, practice learning your next language. It can also be used in a professional capacity for content drafting and idea generation, such as marketing strategies, uh, company names, things like that. You can also use ChatGPT for technical assistance, uh, such as coding support, which it can give coding suggestions, debug issues, and talk about programming concepts and also just general problem solving uh, for troubleshooting and brainstorming solutions to technical challenges. And today we are also highlighting the work of artist Kelly McKernan from Time's 100 Most Influential People in AI. Kelly McKernan, a visual artist, discovered that their network has was being replicated by AI text image models without their consent. Images in McKernan's dreamy sci-fi style were generated using their name as a keyword in AI models like Midjourney and Stable Diffusion. On the Midjourney Discord server alone, over 11,000 images were created in McKernan style without their involvement. As the popularity of AI image generators increased, McKernan de observed a decline in freelance opportunities with revenue flowing toward AI companies and state of artists. Frustrated by the impact on their livelihood, McKernan joined a class action lawsuit along with artists Sarah Anderson and Carla Ortiz against Midjourney, Stability AI, and DeviantArt, alleging copyright infringement and seeking compensation for their work. This legal battle is part of a broader trend, with Getty Images suing Stable Diffusion for infringement, and Sarah Silverman leading a lawsuit against OpenAI, the maker of ChatGPT, for using hope of her book's content without consent, credit, or compensation. While these lawsuits face challenges in the courts, their outcomes could have significant implications for protecting artists from exploitation and ensuring fair compensation for their creative work. Thanks for tuning in to AI Equation. If you enjoyed today's episode, please consider leaving us a review and sharing the show with your friends. I can't wait to bring you more AI insights next time.